Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the Pokedex for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Nowadays, when we talk about the Pokedex, there is a lot there. Will they cut certain Pokemon? What Pokemon will not be added into the region? What will be completely missing from the Pokedex? How many older Pokemon can we expect to see in a brand new gen? There are a lot of questions to go through, so I wanted to discuss it here. That being said, let's jump right into things. Ever since Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Pokedex has been a hot topic amongst the community. Of course, infamously, Game Freak decided to cut certain Pokemon out of the decks, and to this day, there are still some Pokemon that cannot be brought into any Switch game except, of course, for Pokemon Home, but that's not really a game, it's more of a service. This has, of course, inflamed the community for years now. It was the major piece of controversy surrounding Pokemon Sword and Shield that and the exhausting conversation about models and attack animations that we had during that period. But some of these questions still remain, even though the community's hotness and infuriation with it has sort of waned. I do still get comments about it, though. Sword and Shield was the first game to do this, but BDSP had certain Pokemon that couldn't be accessed. Legends Arceus, of course, had certain Pokemon that couldn't be accessed. A little bit different in those examples, but Sword and Shield is still the front runner for making this a discussion point. Now we're on to a new generation, Scarlet and Violet. Brand new Pokemon with pre-existing Pokemon. This is, of course, the formula for any new generation nowadays. They've largely abandoned the whole new Dex format that they did for something like Generation 5 since then, because they fixed that in Black and White 2. But we're going to get older Pokemon, and we've already gotten certain Pokemon shown off in the trailers that were in Sword and Shield, some Pokemon that were only in Legends Arceus, like some Hisuian forms, so we've seen a bunch of different things. The simple question is this, is there going to be a Dex cut? in Scarlet and Violet? Are we going to have the full national decks restored, or are there going to be some Pokemon that are only able to be accessed still via home? I expect that Dex cut to still exist. I think this is the way Pokemon is going to handle the Pokedex in the future. I don't think this is going to change anytime soon, much to the chagrin of many members of the community. I think it's just what they're doing. Even if they regret the decision and how they handled it in the first place, I don't think they're going to make such a fundamental change back to the way it was. Pokemon Home is still going to be the only service where you can access every single Pokemon. Generation 8 was a generation where you it, it, you couldn't access every single Pokemon. It's just, it is the way it is, and it's going to end that way because with Legends Arceus and with BDSP and with Sword and Shield and their expansion DLCs, there are still a handful of Pokemon that are just completely unable to be utilized. It's just the way it's going to be. We're moving into the new generation. There's going to be no patchwork or updates to previous games to fix that. It is what it is. Could we get a scenario where, with the release of Scarlet and Violet, we see that number shrunk down even more? It's certainly possible. And you could be saying to yourself, if we're going to get that number shrunk down to such an extent, why not just have every single Pokemon? And I think it's just a difference in philosophy on the part of Game Freak. It's not laziness. This is an issue in the Pokemon community that I've noticed for a couple years now. They equate game development decisions to pure laziness or lack of understanding on the part of Game Freak. This is the biggest multimedia franchise in the world. If you don't think that they have meetings and discussions and consider every single option and think about what the reaction to the community might be, you're just kidding yourself and you don't understand the way that game development works. This is a decision. They have their reasons. Their reasons might be flawed. And I think their reasons are flawed, and I agree with the majority of the community that the full Pokedex should exist in Scarlet and Violet. But they still have reasons. They're not just saying, we don't feel like it. It's not happening. If you think it like that, if you think that's the way this all works, I don't know how to, in a nicer way, tell you that you simply don't know what you're talking about. So Scarlet and Violet, I think, is going to have an incomplete Pokedex. The question now is, how incomplete is it going to be? Now, before going further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is always greatly appreciated. 
let's get right back into the video. There have been some leakers since Scarlet and Violet were announced who have suggested that the decks is going to be mostly complete. Uh, there might be a couple missing Pokemon, but it's not going to be anything severe. Now you can take those leakers with a complete grain of salt, as I do, because leakers in the Pokemon community get quite a bit wrong. They get the vast majority of their information wrong. Even the most reliable leakers are almost never completely accurate. So the question of how many Pokemon are going to be in the Pokedex is an open question and it is not decided even though the leakers seem to say so. But I think we have seen a good sign and that is the fact that Hisuian forms are going to be in these games, at least some of them. We've seen a screenshot of Hisuian Zoroark in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and the fact that they're bringing in Pokemon from what some consider to be a spin-off game, but it's, it's not a spin-off game a game that takes place in a completely different timeline, or not timeline, time period, than the mainline games. All of that being said, the fact that the Pokemon is there, I think is noteworthy and is something that we need to keep in mind. They're willing to bring these Pokemon up. They're going to give us a way to access these Pokemon, whether they're from home or whether it has something to do with the time travel, uh, past and future gimmick that we're probably going to see in Scarlet and Violet is yet to be seen. But the fact that they're giving us these Hisuian forms, I think is credibility enough to that we're going to have a decently full Pokedex. The other question has to do with the generation entirely. Of course, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet take place in the ninth generation of Pokemon. We are not only nearing the thousand Pokemon number in terms of just the roster itself, but we're in a generation where you wouldn't expect to see a remake. One of the things that fixed a lot of Generation 8's problems is that many of the Pokemon eventually got added to Switch games via the Generation 4 remakes, the BDSP games and Legends Arceus. We're probably not going to have a remake in this generation. We might see DLC for Scarlet and Violet, and maybe that continues to expand the Pokedex, maybe gives us new areas to explore, but the odds of us getting a remake are very low. So what other game is going to complement Scarlet and Violet in this generation and provide us with more of that Pokedex roster? Could it be another Legends game? It's entirely possible. Could it be a Let's Go game? I'm very, very lukewarm on that possibility. I've said multiple times, I don't think we're going to get any more Let's Go games. I think they were experimental games for the Switch, meant to capitalize on Pokemon Go's success. Two things that Game Freak doesn't really need to do anymore. I don't think we're ever going to see another Let's Go game. But there could be a Legends game or some sort of other third game or DLC that continues to add to the Pokedex. And I think that's going to be the way that they handle it. So, what will the roster be in Scarlet and Violet? Well, I think with all of the facts we've laid out here, it needs to be much bigger. I believe the roster for Sword and Shield was around 200 Pokemon. That was the total. Or maybe it was 400. I think it was 200, though. That is a very small roster. Very doable if you're looking to complete the Pokedex, but not very doable if you want to have all of your Pokemon friends over the generations in the game with you. I think Scarlet and Violet, quite frankly, needs to double that. I would love to see a massive roster for Scarlet and Violet, a 400 roster Pokemon game with a ton of old returning favorites. Some people in the community have also made some suggestions for how Game Freak can structure Pokedex rosters in the future, and I agree with this. I think starter Pokemon from Generation 1 all the way up to the modern games need to be included in every generation. Starter Pokemon are some of the most important things in the franchise. It's Pokemon that everybody gets to pick from. Almost everybody has one on their team when they play through their games, and they're the most natural Pokemon that people want to bring up through the generations, through services like Pokemon Home and Pokemon Bank. So I think moving forward, every single game, and this needs to start with Scarlet and Violet, need to include all of the starter Pokemon, every single one, every evolution, every form that maybe they get, that needs to be a staple moving forward. So not only do they need to up the roster of Pokemon in the Pokedex in Scarlet and Violet, they need to add a healthy amount of former Pokemon on top of the probably 70 to 80 new ones we get, but they also need to keep every single starter Pokemon. And I would like to see regional forms in every single game as well. I think regional variants and starter Pokemon are unique enough that they need to be in the franchise every single time. It's just good marketing. It's the Eevee. Eevee also falls into this category of Pokemon that I think every Pokedex needs to have on their roster or at least obtainable and brought through from other games. It, it improves the features itself. It gives them more value in older games. It does a lot to keep the, the ecosystem of Pokemon games healthy. That's what I think they should do with the Pokedex roughly. In an ideal world, you have every single Pokemon, but I don't think they're going to do that. But I would love to know what you guys think. 
are we going to see a full Pokedex, a full National Dex in Scarlet and Violet, or do you guys think they're going to curtail it like they have in the last couple games? Let me know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And with that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.